so this is question 16 part b and here again we are going to draw a logic circuit for the case where the output hold okay hold is the output is high only if the input load in load is the input and ready is the input as well so when load is low and ready is high so in this case the output which is hold will be high okay so the first uh, step for this question will be the same which we have done previously so step one here will be drawing the simplified diagram okay so the simplified diagram for it will be this is the block and here we have two inputs okay what are those inputs those are basically load okay and ready ready and load are two inputs which are giving me a single output which is hold this is the step number one in step number two what we have to do we have to draw the truth table for it so, okay so that would be the truth table okay so in truth table what would we have we would have two inputs which are load and ready okay and the output we will have is this hold so this is what we have okay so we can see that this would be a truth table here we have to write all the combinations with this load and ready will will have or could have so load and ready could be both low load can be low and ready can be higher load can be high ready can be low and both of them can also be high as well so what is the condition here so this load uh, this hold will be high only if the input load is low so load is low in these two cases and the input rate is high so this will be the case when it will be what this will be one otherwise in in and in other cases it will be zero so this is the truth table which basically explains very comprehensively the statement of this question so this is the step two of any digital logic design circuit in step three what we have to do we have to write the boolean expression okay so writing the boolean expression for it involves what sum of the product or product of the sum sum of the products or products of the sum okay so in order to uh, do the sum of the products what we have to do let me use the sum of products here because this is the easier one and we haven't even discussed both of them but let me use the sum of product and here we have to identify the uh, inputs for which the output is what output is high so what is that this is this entry okay so as i have previously told you that after identifying it what we have to do i have to make both of them equal to one so that the corresponding output will be one from the product of the inputs okay so here let me write them here load is what zero and ready is one which is already one so i have to make this load complement and with it i have to multiply the ready and from it i will get one so this is the expression and we can very easily see that there are no other products here so only one product will remain here which is basically giving me this only one and gate okay this is the AND gate and this complement is basically shown to me by the NOT gate so only two gates will do the purpose okay so this is the one gate this is the second gate and this is basically the expression which we were needing here so uh, step four here is the logic circuit diagram okay so how many inputs uh, do i have here i have two inputs which are the load and ready so 
load and ready and both of them are applied to the what to the AND gate and prior to the application of their product load is what load is complemented so this is load this is ready and initially this load is complemented so I will get here what this is load complement and what is this this is the ready signal and both of them are now applied to the AND gate okay so this is one input this is the second input and from them i will get what load complement and this is multiplied by this ready okay so that is the end in which this is the only circuit which will explain and do all the stuff which is now given in, in the form of this truth table and also in the form of what in the form of this statement as well so again in this question we have summarized all the steps which are needed for which will be needed for the more complex circuits as well uh, so this is one of the very simplest uh, circuit we have and uh, by writing all the statements in the form of a truth table you can write the boolean expression and from the boolean expression you can design any uh, logic circuit in the way which we have mentioned here we will also move towards more complex circuits in our upcoming videos uh, so you are requested to practice over all the stuff and uh, please write in the comment box if you encounter any difficulty during your practice okay so take care of yourself and i will see you soon